We all have had events in our lives that we can trace back to our childhood that lives with us for ever and ever. And today I'm gonna to tell you a story, believe it or not, that revolves around shoes. Shoes in my family were very important, apparently. My grandmother, um, when I started second grade and she continued on until I graduated high school, uh, got in the, the tradition of buying my back to school shoes. This tradition started because my Mamaw May said that she wanted me to know that she valued education and wanted me to uh, realize how important it was to her. And her little way of, of reinforcing her, her values on education was to buy me my back to school shoes. This was not just a going to the store and picking shoes out. This event was an all day event that uh, started the night before. And it was the same thing, the second week of August from 1973 through 1985, uh, we went through the same thing. The only thing that changed was when I got my license and I, I could drive us uh, to downtown La Follette, to Myers department store, and uh, we would go and pick my shoes up. But the first thing, the night before, my, I would spend the night with my grandparents and um, my grandfather would uh, get the kitchen ready for breakfast the next morning and uh, then we would go to bed and the next morning real early uh, my grandmother would get up and she would make breakfast and breakfast was the typical uh, sausage gravy eggs biscuits the whole southern type breakfast uh, then she would clean the dishes and then she would call me into the kitchen and we would sit at the kitchen table and she would go to um, her hiding place where she hid her money at home and she would count out $50. And she would always say the same thing every year, Steve, this money is for you to go, for us, not you, us to go buy shoes. So um, she said, here, you can have it, you can hold on to it. And then we would proceed to walk to the downtown La Follette, which was probably two miles away. Uh, my grandmother did not drive. She never had a license. My grandmother never was able to read or write. She um, signed her name with an X, but we would take off walking to downtown La Follette and the same story every year as we walked to downtown La Follette was, Steve, we're going to buy you a pair of school shoes. And these shoes are got, have to last you until Christmas time. Now, I want you to realize, this is, this is my grandmother talking to me. I can re remember it very vividly. I want you to realize, Steve, that these shoes have to last you to Christmas, and I expect you to take care of them. You're not to be outside playing in them. Once you get home from school, you're to take them off and, and take care of these shoes. And I, yes, ma'am, I understand, yes. And she, and she made a point. Now you have two weeks of, before school starts back. I want you to take these shoes home and I want you to wear them around the house, inside the house, a few minutes or five minutes every day to get them broke in so you don't get blisters on your feet when you go back to school. And I, yes, ma'am, I'm okay. So we would head on down to Myers's Discount Clothing Store in downtown La Follette. And uh, it was on the other end of town and we would walk down the sidewalk and we would window shop as we was going through town, looking at all the different things. We'd enter uh, Myers's discount store and uh, there it was two levels. On the first level was clothing and they had a little shoe, shoe section there. And uh, we always started out over in that shoe section. And um, my mama would always make sure that I tried on every shoe that I thought I would like and then when we go down, we would go downstairs where there was a larger shoe selection. And um, I'd have to try on both shoes for her. I would have to walk in the shoes. My mama would get down in the floor and she would measure and she would always tell me, now you need to make sure you get a shoe size that's a half size bigger than what you normally wear. Uh, 
because you're going to grow in these shoes. So we would have the, the people down there working, they're bringing shoes out left and right. And she would, I would walk around in the, sh in the store, making sure the shoes fit. My granny would get in the floor and she would put her thumb on the tip of the shoe to say, make sure I had a thumb's width, width length in the shoe so I could grow into them. So we would spend the whole, we'd spend hours in there looking for shoes to make sure I, I got the right, the perfect pair that I wanted. Um, when we purchased the shoes, if there was any money left over from the $50 that Mama had set aside for shoes, I got to get socks. And it was the tube socks that went up to your knees that had the stripes around the tops of them, different colored stripes. And I thought I was in hog heaven. Uh, Mama bought me my first pair of Converse. She bought me my first pair of um, Chucks. And my Mama bought me my first pair of boots. And believe it or not, I'm 52 years old and my boots that she bought me, I was a senior in high school and I um, wore those boots until I think it was year before last, I finally threw them away. So that is me going in with my granny to buy my school shoes, back to school shoes every August. Second week of August, it never failed from the time I was in second grade until I graduated high school. We went and bought shoes. So after we got the shoes, we would walk out of Myers's and we would go down to um, Riggs Drugstore to have lunch. Uh, we would go to the, they had a little cafeteria thing set up in Riggs Drugstore and we would go and we would sit there and we would have our lunch and she would talk to me about how important school was and how important it was to do good in school and to always do your very best and never do anything that would uh, give you a bad name after we ate lunch then we would walk back to her house and we would just hang i'd hang out at my mama and papa's house until my mom and dad come and got me but i can remember to this day every august going to myers's with my mama to pick up my back to school shoes <laughs>